Okay, I'm going to take you with me on a daily training. It's not that I practice this every day, but daily training. It's not my profession. My profession is horse behavior. Uh, I teach horse, uh, horse behavior, but it's also part of what we do. What I think is very important is that you practice uh, putting on halter, putting on head collar, no matter what you do, and make sure that the horse is calm and easy and uh, that there are no discussions about uh, him moving around or whatever. And that's something you can create by being calm, by being very uh, predictable to the, to the horse. You can create a situation where a horse is, is just being relaxed. He's standing with his head low and it's not something I trained, it's something he really feels. And to me that's very important, that a horse feels well in whatever you're doing. That means trust and understanding. Now I'm putting on the Seraton uh, PT, which is a special nose band uh, with, with rings on the nose. So I'm not going to pull the reins unnecessary. Uh, I don't like horses to be rough in the mouth. That's why I use this Seraton. Okay, so we start on, on lunging. And lunging is also, it's a very basic uh, training, but it's also uh, very good training because it, it well, it gives a relationship, and I like to keep the launch very soft, uh, very, very... I don't want to pull on anything, I just want the horse to, to do what I ask him to do, and that's trotting around. It's not made on the bit, and that's for me very, very important. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm talking to my husband now. <laughs> of course, everything that goes wrong is, the, is at that moment the fault of my husband. Okay. So now I, I'm starting to do a piaf, and I, every horse has a favorite spot to be touched uh, by, with the whip uh, to ask him the piaf. So on this movie, uh, I, I, it's also criticizing myself. I'm very critical on myself, don't be afraid of, of, of that. I'm criticizing and I'm looking on which place for this horse is the best way to touch. Um, some like it on the back, some like it on the legs, that, that all depends on, on, on the horse. After some excitement, I mean Piaf gives a little bit of excitement, we walk on straight to calm, to, to let the emotions go, and of course my poor husband who is doing this movie uh, <laughs> is, is blamed for everything that goes wrong. Never mind, that's, that's our private life. Okay, now I see myself overdue. I, I ask it too fast. And the horse is responding on a very, well, let's say, uh, too nervous. It's not a nice piaf. The movement is there, but it's not a nice piaf. And you can see his tail wiggle, you can see his head, he's, he's collect now he's collecting, now he's collecting. The issue, uh, the thing I want to achieve is a collected horse who does a calm uh, piaf. This is also a very important moment, and that's the moment that you stop and that you tell the horse that you're very, very happy with him and you can relax. Now I'm trying to put him a little bit backward, um, criticizing myself, I ask myself, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'm, I'm not sure, uh, probably because to ask a little bit more collection. Um, on this movie I see myself and I, I find the place for the horse to be touched. This is a better, this is his favorite place. Uh, when it goes to more collection and he's also coming inside towards me it's also something I have to correct and I'm really looking at the best ways yeah, it's, it's, it's a combination asking the leg again to move and well he's very cooperative I have to admit that he's a very now he's asking himself what the hell am I doing and he has several tricks uh, he does also so he's confused and it always makes me very well proud on horses how they they respond on us even though uh, we make like a lot of mistakes we do a lot of things on a pretty stupid way okay i'm going to do it again asking him to be off i think uh, this goes a little bit better the more you practice it the more perfect it gets and i'm not uh, riding or training horse professional i'm from the behavior but this is the moment that I like most, and this is also a very important moment. Tell the horse that you were very glad and make him relax. Make him back, back to being horse. Okay, we're going too fast forward now. Oh, <laughs> I'm so criticizing. 
Now he's overdoing, or I'm overdoing, he's actually responding on me. So that's always something to be very critical on, and that's why I like to make movies of myself, uh, or better said, the horse, to co control myself. And I watch it over and over again, and, um, well, many times I see that there's sometimes a difference in between what I practice and what I preach. I always, you see now, this was a beautiful moment, you see how he goes down on his bottom, the way, the moment that I put the whip a little bit more down. Anyway, it's a way of controlling myself. Um, it's a way of controlling, are we going on the right uh, right way? And I see my, I feel a little bit too much impatient. When I'm on the floor, whatever I do, I'm very, very patient. I know, I'm aware of that. But when I want this, now he's getting better. I think he's, his collection is better, the way he, 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 anyway. Be patient, be calm, be easy, like this moment. This is very precious. It's very, very important. That's the only way a horse can figure out. And I always say, say to other people, think about a horse. When you say something or ask him something, it has to go from the head back to the tail and has to come back. Okay, never mind. Now we're doing some Spanish walk. He has been taught to, to do one foot uh, again. I'm, and I'm starting on the practice of the Paso en Tres Remos, which is a one head, one head leg in the, in the air and then turn around. It's pretty uh, complicated to, to teach that to a horse, um, but, well, this is actually a little bit strange. And But it, this is the way I teach him to turn on one leg and so I can prepare him for this uh, salute, uh, this greeting on one, one hoof. It's searching. All training is always searching, trying to find out what's best for you and the horse.